Okay, good afternoon, everyone. I'm just making a quick video, just to let everyone know. Uh, I'm not dead yet, and the cats haven't eaten me, so... <sighs> Those are probably the first ones to eat you, yeah. You thought it would be the dog, but no, it's the cat. And I have two. Um, well, bright light. Uh, yeah, that's about it, bright light. Yeah, I'm sick as hell, man. Uh, and not to worry, it's not anything obscure. It's just a January bug. I have it out every year, so not to worry. Um, not much to see. Well, yeah, it's, it's winter and hold up. <coughs> 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 Man, I still should stop smoking when I'm sick. Um, I should stop smoking, period. Um, yeah, let me change the direction. Uh, I did a lot of repots. Here is uh, a piece of the encyclia. It didn't fit in a big pot, so I had to split it. Uh, yeah, probably something. Um, here's one for Margaret, that's my catechetum planiceps, and by the looks of it, it's a new growth. And here's another one, that's, uh, well, that's uh, an unknown hybrid I got from Martin a few years back. And it's starting up again. And I have the... Catacetum gnome, the gnomus, and that's probably also a new growth. Mm, yeah, probably because this is the old flower spike. <coughs> yeah, I'm slowly working up to something uh, new I got today, but I need to make a bit of a substantial video. Oh, what are you doing? That's no bueno. Yeah, this rack is really fast drying at the moment. Um, and, well, yeah, you see, there is a lot of light. The upper part gets a little bit less, but that will change come summer. Oh, yeah, sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, I was working on to something. Um, I have the Varsivixella, the one I already had. There's the one, the second one I bought, and that one is, well, adjusting. It just got repotted, so. Jungle Bob! And it's the first time it has an erect flower spike. Leave the jokes in the comments. Um. Oh yeah, this one. Um, tiny flowers, no space. Uh, I'm gonna crack something. Hold up. No, not hold up. Close up. That's the glumasium. And the buds are separating. Not open yet, but... Um, the left one is the... The mini mark which is spiky. Um, Epicathea got a repot. Here are the, the epidendrums in spike. Uh, maybe this one will... Oh, 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 this is so fragile. Yeah, I'm gonna have to wait a few more days. Or are you already open? Well... Could be. Um, yeah, these epidendrums were repotted. That's epidendrum in spike. There it is. Uh, oh yeah, 
the Guarregia is repotted. Mm, and now we're coming to the point I was working towards. Yeah, I got a new orchid. And I didn't buy it myself. This is a gift from my brother and his girlfriend. Not because I'm sick, just because. Uh, it's a mini, Symbidium, yay. There's still a spike to come. And I love it, it's my favorite color. You can see the, well, very small bulbs. And uh, the pot is completely warped. It's working itself up. And the other uh, amazing stuff, well, the, the nobile is, well, well, yeah, done flowering. And we have some buds on the old cane. That cane is about four years old. Mm -hmm. Can you believe it? Um, more stuff. No, no more stuff. Uh, or is there? Well, yeah, you can see that um, there's a little bit of room left, and that's because the the plate is sagging on both sides. So I took it off, shoved it there, so the plate wouldn't break. And now I have to shove everything from here to there, so that side doesn't break. Um, I'm busy hunting for uh, another table, so there are going to be two tables and the plate is going. It's too big. And ooh, here comes the sun, guys. Well, almost. Um, I did a measurement with a lux meter. And when the sun hits the window at this point in the year, which is early, it's only January, sun isn't that warm yet, so it doesn't do any, well, no, it doesn't do any damage yet. But it's between 30 and 40,000 lux when the sun hits. So when the minute we get a bright spell, which will come in a moment. I said in a moment. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And there's the bright spell. Now this is about 20,000 lux. And this is 40,000. Now that may sound like a lot, but I have the most orchids, when you check them, they all need light levels between 25 and 38,000 lux. So, yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. And just to be on the safe side, we just touch the leaves. And if the leaves are normal, eh, nothing wrong. Uh, yeah, like I said, I've done a lot of repots, all on that bloody little piece. And no, I can't film and do stuff that just doesn't work. <coughs> yeah, I have to cough every now and again, just to make sure you're... You know I'm sick. I really am. Uh, and I'm on a lot of comments. Yes. And wishing me good health and stuff. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, shit. Damn. That's probably my own fault. I'm too happy with the sprayer. Oh, yeah, look at this, look at this. That's bright light, guys. Okay, it's nearly 10 minutes, I'm sweating like a pig. Uh, 
I was watching The Simpsons and then I wanted to make a video and then the video was done. I told you I'm sick. Um, I showed you the new orchid. Oh, look at that. And I'm still sick. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, this is it. So, I'm still here. Uh, and the orchids are doing fine. Well, let's see how they react uh, to this full sun. It's not all the time, it's just with flashes, so... Oh, there yeah, yeah. No, almost. It's coming out again. Is it? Yep, there it is. And every day the sun is a little bit higher. <clears throat> and well, we have daylight until five o'clock in the afternoon. After that, it's getting too dark. And well, just well, 7.30, it's starting to get day. <sighs> okay, guys. Um, yeah, this is it. I'm starting to ramble. Okay, later.